Now, we have something very, very important to do before we have our next special guest, uh, Mikhail Milipola, join us. And that is that many of you have been waiting with bated breath, I can imagine, for the announcements of the Comicify Your Life drawing contest. So Joseph and I have had a very challenging time <laughs> over the last week, um, receiving all of your excellent submissions and trying our very best to, um, to judge them as impartially as possible. So um, Joseph, yeah. is there anything you'd like to say before we bounce in? Well, I guess, can we bring those slides up? Um, we're not going to be showing every single entry today. We just don't have time, I'm afraid. Uh, but we will be showing a nice cross-section of some of our really unique and diverse creative entries. All right, so this is the first of many of our wonderful category awards. So this award goes to Tristan, the Climate Warrior Award. Um, we were just so inspired by this uh, young artist who drew himself as a superhero who can teleport around specifically so that he can clean up trash from the ocean. What an absolute legend. So Tristan, congratulations on your Climate Warrior Award. So the next two entries are tied together. We have Posey, best duo with Big Sister. We love the illustration here, the little mushrooms, the details on the overalls, just the overall, even the use of the negative space, it just really draws your attention. It's really cute, love the ears. And if we can move to the next one, we've got Darcy, best duo with Little Sister. So these two are sisters. And again, these are probably the coolest overalls within the competition. I would love a pair of these myself. And I love the bandana that's tied there as well. Awesome that they have a really similar style. I'd love to hear whether uh, Darcy's influenced her Little Sister's style or, or whether they both share some little artistic secrets. Fabulous. And on to the next one. Um, this is one that I'm sure many budding artists can relate to. This is the Best Hands Award. <laughs> and this goes to, to Kia. So well done for this incredible, um, I mean, just look, the poise, the fingers, everything is in its right place. What an excellent piece of art and beautiful, beautiful line work as well. All right, so next up we have uh, Corfi, and oh my goodness, this category was difficult to judge, but um, we absolutely loved this character's outfit. Um, just so incredible. Joseph, anything you want to say about this? Oh, just if, if you wear that outfit in everyday life, that is so cool. Oh my goodness, you will make a scene if you step into the library. Uh, you'll be having magazines wanting to do photo shoots. Awesome outfit. Ella, we have the Happiest Cat Award. We thought this was just a really sweet illustration. Uh, if once these eventually might go online, you'll be able to see the wonderful expression of contentment upon that cat's face. Now, that cat, I believe, is called Ash. And Ash appeared in a couple of our entries. Just an adorable, adorable cat. Thank you so much, Ella, for your, your wonderful illustration. All right, and the next award here, this goes to Bill, and this is for the coolest lore. So it might be a little bit difficult to see on your screens at the moment, but Bill went into quite some detail with his character Super Woo, um, who, who dwells in a secret hideout underneath um, uh, a sewage grate on Cuba Street, checking out the iconic Wellington skyline in the lower right-hand corner there. So we absolutely loved the backstory you wrote for this character. Awesome, awesome stuff. Holly, the best narrative award. This is one that it's got to make its way uh, into, into your lives. It's an incredible story. There's a sequence at New World which had us all laughing out loud because Neil Diamond is always playing at New World and our mums do have a tendency to sing along with Sweet Caroline. <laughs> so we just loved these excerpts from your life and your sense of humor, Holly. This is almost too relatable. We, we think that one of our Comic Fest um, artists, Sarah Lang, will have a lot to love about that piece. All right, so our next award here, this goes to Lex, and this is for the best line work. Just so incredibly clean, 
love, love, love the use of negative space in this drawing. We think we detect a bit of Heartstopper influence and that gives it a big old A plus in our books. So just a really, really gorgeous piece and such beautiful clean line work, we couldn't pass it up. Isla. Isla the Smiler, as you can see there. There's a little bee buzzing around telling you to be happy. Isla, you're the most uplifting. You brought a smile to all our faces. We love the colors. You are also like in contention for best outfit. That is a fantastic outfit full of many colors. The sun's smiling away. We're all smiling. Thank you for uplifting us all. All right, zooming through. So this is our ready to publish award, which goes to Sonoma. What an incredible, this, this young artist has presented us with basically a complete comic here. And um, when we upload these to our website after this event, um, you absolutely must zoom in on every single panel. There's so much incredible detail here. So many hilarious and slightly sad characters um, and just some beautiful, beautiful um, graphic artwork and, um, and typography as well. So such a cool thing. We would love to make this into a zine. So please bring this into a library and we will publish it for you. We want it. Absolutely blown away. Frida, the most relatable award. We thought this was a really honest piece about like all the great things, but also the things that can make us a bit worried or a bit anxious. And well done, Frida. And thank you for being so honest about where, where we are. We really appreciate that. Most relatable award. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. And our next one, this is from Tilly. Oh my gosh, we loved this when we saw it. This gets the uh, Brightest Vibes Award. Check out those colors. Oh my gosh, how do they pop? So incredible. Love the background. Love all of the um, accoutrement that come with this character. You really get a sense for who she is. So we just really want to meet this kid and she'll be a super fun time. So thank you so much for sending this in. This one was a bit of a collaborative family effort. So we have Isabella, Noah, and Felix with the best family collab. And it's even got a pro social message about giving COVID no chance. Uh, obviously, cool hero theme, cool comic vibe. Very nicely done. And thank you for all your effort because Felix and Noah also put in some solo entries, uh, which were really cool as well. Haven't got time to show them to you today, but. Um, Noah Sonic was also very awesome. All right, and our very last uh, category award before we launch into our grand prize winners. Um, this, we had to do this. This was for the best ex librarian award. This is from Alex. Um, Alex, if you're out there watching, please come back. We miss you. But um, in your place, here's an award for you. <laughs> come pick it up from the office. Now we have our grand prize winners, only one winner per category. And our, our four categories were five to eight, nine to 12, 13 to 17, and 18 plus. One prize, only one shall stand. Per age category. <laughs> <laughs> we have Ihan, category winner with the Cupcake Commander. Commander Cupcake. We adored the colors. Even the background, there's some lovely shading. There's a consistency. There's a real presence. This is a really well-rounded superhero character who we would love to see more of. This is a great pitch. We were completely convinced that we want to read Commander Cupcake and watch Commander Cupcake stopping villainy by chilling them out with the marvels of a cupcake. Excellent, excellent stuff. All right. And in the 9 to 12 category, we have this incredible character study by Sophia. I mean, what beautiful, beautiful character work. The shading is impeccable. We love the facial expressions on all of these characters. I especially love the slight smirk in the one on the top right. Um, the sketch in the lower right that you've labeled sketch um, that's like top quality stuff, my friends. Um, this is just incredible work. Again, we would love to see more of this kind of material coming from you in the future. So congratulations, Sophia. Congratulations.
another amazing piece from Jamie and the 13 to 17 category. This was really hard. All of the pieces in this category were amazing as throughout the whole competition, but everyone had such unique styles at in this age category. It's clear everyone has been working for a while and it's clear, Jamie, in particular, that you've really got a well-defined style. I love how you've drawn your eyes. I love the inclusion of artists like you've got the the paint palette there you've got your headphones we get a really cool sense of of maybe who you are as a person and that really fits the brief of what we set out to do with comicify your life brilliant piece love the background too absolutely and finally we have the 18 plus category winner again this was a tough one to pick but it had to go in the end to kitty we just loved this piece. We loved the little joke. We loved the contrast and the two characters um, you see on the screen here. Um, we love, again, the pro-social message, mask up friends. Um, this is just a really beautiful piece. Um, check out that color blocking. I mean, how striking is that? The line work, again, is impeccable. The folds on the cloth, that is so hard to achieve. Um, we absolutely loved this work. Congratulations, Kitty, for your category win. All right, so that brings us to the end of the Comicify Your Life competition. But we wanna give a huge congratulations to everybody who submitted. We absolutely loved going through all of the pieces and we can't wait to see more from you. Now, we'll be getting in touch with all of our category winners and all of our spot prizes after today's session so that you can come down to your local library and collect your prize. So we'll just take a quick moment to remember our sponsors, Unity Books, Graphic, Gecko Press, National Library, and of course, uh, Wellington City Libraries, where myself and Stephen are from our home base.